All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And first, let me say that I was wrong, 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 wrong on top of wrong. There were no mass arrests. There was no military takeover. There will be no Donald Trump sworn in on March 4th. I took the hook and swallowed it and was a believer that all this stuff was going to happen. I admit it. I was drinking the Kool-Aid. I was mainlining the hopium. And I was wrong, 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 wrong. And old Slow Joe is now the 46th president of the United States. And so the liberal utopia is finally here. Oh, wait. AOPL laments jobs loss on Biden's first day. <laughs> Today, the Association of Oil Pipelines lamented the Biden administration's first day action to block thousands of new jobs and deprive those workers of billions of dollars in payroll salary. Killing 10,000 jobs and taking $2.2 billion in payroll out of the workers' pockets on his first day is not what Americans need or want right now, said Andy Black. Building the Keystone XL pipeline would create 10,000 good-paying American union jobs. But nope, Joe got rid of those on the first day. But at least Antifa must be happy, right? The liberal utopia. Nope. Watch, Antifa blocks streets, sets fire in Seattle on Inauguration Day protest. Wait a minute, what? So surely the National Guard is up there just whooping ass, right? Nope. Antifa and Black Lives Matter protesters joined forces in Seattle to block traffic in the downtown area. A video shows the protesters setting a large fire in close proximity to several commuter buses. What? Not more peaceful protest? Oh my God. This is not possible. These guys got to be happy now, right? More aerial footage of the Antifa BLM group burning a banner while protesting in the streets. American flags are burned on the streets of Seattle as part of tonight's J-20 direct action. The cops shouted, no cops, no prisons, total abolition, as they marched through the downtown business district. So... Uh, they're not happy. <laughs> and where are the cops? Look at all these broken windows and vandalizing. You know that those domestic terrorists that stormed the White House last week, they got them rounded up real quick. What's with these guys? Nah, they do what they want. The, hop the hypocrisy runs deep with the left. Okay. Well, surely that's the only trouble, right? Nope. Antifa attacks his Democrat headquarters in Portland. They want revenge, not Biden. Look what they wrote here. Fuck Biden. <laughs> they can't even spell his name right. Antifa marched through the streets of Portland, Oregon on Inauguration Day, carrying a sign saying, we don't want Biden. We want revenge. Revenge? For what? What did anybody ever do to Antifa? 200 left-wing protesters are on the streets of Portland right now with anti-Biden and anti-police messages. We are ungovernable, one sign says. We don't want Biden. We want revenge. Ah, oh, this is a great start to the new administration, isn't it? Thank God he got in there so there wouldn't be any riots. The Supreme Court 
was rumored to have not taken Texas's case because they were scared of people rioting. So now the Joe's been elected, slow Joe. Everything's supposed to be calmed down. What happened? Seeing some criticism for calling the crowd left wing, which was my shorthand to make clear that it isn't Trump supporters on the streets of Portland. The longer version is that the crowd is a mix of racial justice, anti-fascist, anarchist, youth liberation. Hmm. Yeah, I know. All the Trump, all those white supremacist Trump terrorists, you know, went home and went back to work. More damage done at the Democrat headquarters. Let's take a look at this. Minutes away from you. <laughs> ah, yeah. When they get mad, they break windows and tear shit up in their own town. Because this will help. This will help get what they want. It, it, it works every time. A bunch of idiots. And then there's this. The White House official website. Uh, I shouldn't say website. The White House official YouTube page carried the inauguration today. This is just one small part of it. They redid this. This is part two. You notice there's a two in the link. I'll put them in the description. And this is hilarious because they had to do it twice because, and it's happening again. 2,000 likes, 15,000 dislikes. They are getting ratioed right out of the ballpark. The most popular president in the history of the world is getting ratioed. 2,000 likes, 15,000 dislikes. They actually, they actually delisted this video for a while because it was already up to like 18,000, I think. And they took it down. And now this is a new version because the other version was like two hours long. And here's the other good part. Comments are turned off. Wait a minute. You turn the comments off for the most popular president in the history of the world? What is going on here? I think this is going to be an unbelievable four years. All right. That's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Subscribe to this channel, like and share this video, because remember, the Aimless News must be told. <laughs>